It's business as usual during January in Iowa. Snow is on the ground, bridges are covered, the Duke stands guard. And since it's an election year, the place is crawling with presidential candidates. Not that they have much of a choice, really. Iowa's caucuses next month will usher in the presidential nominating process. That's why I'm in this fight. The past six winners in Iowa have gone on to secure the Democratic nomination. A clear victory could set the tone for the races that follow in New Hampshire, Nevada, and South Carolina. But an inconclusive result, or one in which several candidates are bunched together near the top, could preview a long, brutal fight ahead. We know for a fact that the outcome of the Iowa caucus does influence the assessment of voters around the country. The Midwestern mainly white segment of Democratic voters who participate doesn't generally reflect its counterparts nationally, and the state's caucuses are confusing to some. Still, Iowans take great pride in their first in the nation nominating contests. It's an important obligation and a duty that uh, at least the fellow Iowans that I know take very seriously. And it's the talk of the state. I have relatives in other states who haven't kept track of anybody. They're, they're not ready. And we're all, we're all dug in. Candidates have swarmed Iowa for more than a year, but the race is still wide open and could break late, as it is known to do. I'm asking for your support to help me win here in Iowa. Meaning candidates will continue to crisscross Iowa, practicing the retail politics that makes campaigning in the Hawkeye State so unique. I think it's really neat, you know, that they're, you know, they're, they're coming around telling us their points of views and stuff. There's still some place where that person-to-person -person interaction takes place. And it's right here. It's a, it's a weird, wonderful little world here in Iowa. A little world that could potentially play a big role in 2020. Mike Householder, The Associated Press.